good morning everyone and most welcome to this online class you are the students of class 4 subject science myself mrs anjali sarode children our lesson number 4 plants around us finish but today we are going to solve some exercises a b c page number 29 something to know okay so take out your textbook and start to solve these exercises yes of course i will help you so children be ready with your pencil okay write with pencil something to know page number 29 question number a filling the blanks number 1 plants growing on hills are tall straight and have a dash shape did you search what is your answer yes conical shape number 1 i am repeating again plants growing on hills are tall straight and have a conical shape conical is your answer number 2 dash and dash are two of the trees that grow on plains what are they kaun se hai number 1 you can write any one but this is my side i have written this answer people and second is mango you can write to sal and neem tree rose tree any so second number people and mango are two of the trees that grow on plant plains number third breathing roots also called dash root and your answer aerial roots breathing roots are also called aerial roots number 4 dash is an underwater plant so picture is here on your slide yes hydrilla hydrilla is an underwater plant number 5 lotus stem is eaten as a answer vegetable fifth lotus stem is written as a vegetable once again i am repeating number 1 plants growing on hills are tall straight and have a conical shape number 2 people and mango are two of the trees that grow on plains number 3 breathing roots are also called aerial roots number 4 hydrilla is an underwater plant number 5 lotus stem is eaten as a vegetable so question number a finish here now question number b match the following i am reading one by one on your left side number 1 evergreen trees number 2 needle like leaves number 3 no leaves four breathing roots five air fill cavities six a cultivated crop and your right side a rice b cactus c mangrove d aquatic plant e rubber and teak f f fine pine and cedar so you have to match right side with left side okay so ready number 1 evergreen trees so kaun si evergreen trees hai you have to think this is your answer match here number e no one one match e rubber and teak number 2 needle like leaves needle like leaves f is the answer pine and cedar so second number you have to match with f no leaves without leaves and trees cactus of course so b is your correct answer three you have to match with b next four breathing roots c c is your right answer number four you have to match with c mangroves and number five air fill cavities and the answer is aquatic plant all of you know children Uh, these cavities make them light and help them to easily float on the water and these cavities are very important and present in the aquatic plants okay six a cultivated crop and the answer is rice six number you have to match with a so these are your answer number 1 e second you have to match f third b fourth c fifth d and sixth a in this way you have to solve 
Now question number C, tick right the correct option. Number one, it is a free floating plant. Options are A, water hyacinth, B, hydrilla, C, coconut and D, lotus. And the answer is water hyacinth. See the picture given on the your right side corner. So number one, it is a free floating plant that is water hyacinth. Number second. These are unwanted plants. Options A. Cactus B. Grass C. Mangroves and D. Weeds And which one is correct answer here? Of course, weeds. Yes. These are unwanted plants dash weeds. Weeds is your answer. Number 3. It can survive in soil with very little water. And options A. Banyan B. Tick C. Rubber and D. Cactus and the correct answer is Cactus. So here section A, B, C three exercises finish here. Now children one valuable story caring boy Ramesh. See this is Ramesh his father and his grandfather. During his vacation, Ramesh went to his grandparents' village. He saw his old and big grandfather plowing the field with the help of bullocks. Ramesh felt very sad. In the evening, he rang up his father and told him about it. After a few days, his father came to the village with a person from the bank. The bank offered easy loan to farmer to buy tractors. After a month, Ramesh, Ramesh's grandfather bought a new tractor and he was very happy. How caring boy Ramesh, na? So, Ramesh helped in this way to his grandfather with the help of his father. So, always help others. And now children, this is the time and you are waiting also for your, yes, homework. So homework for you. Uh, textbook page number 29 exercises A, B, C, you already saw in your textbook, okay, with pencil. But now, all these exercises on page number same, 29, exercises A, B, C, you have to solve in your CW book. Where you have to solve? In your CW book with pen. Okay. So children, have a nice time. God bless you all. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.